Greetings, magical souls. I am Lady Silver Sage, also known as the Silver Sage Witch, and I am glad that you're here with me today. I know that I have not been making videos for a while, but that's because I have been dealing with my own self-care, because the saying is so very true. How can you pour from your vessel into another's cup if your vessel is empty? So that's what I've been doing. I have been meditating. I've been doing my yoga. I've been setting up better <laughs> menus for myself to eat to drink. I've been journaling. I've also been um, trying to take care of my students as well at the Academy of International Witchcrafting because I want to make sure that they are still getting their education even though I am still working on healing myself, I guess you could say. I want to talk today briefly, just briefly, about the upcoming cacao ceremony that I'm going to do. I just like to call it a simple chocolate ritual because I don't know if you know it or not, but chocolate is truly medicine. And the spirit of chocolate is very strong and that helps with healing your heart chakra okay and I think it's important to let you know that this is not something that I have just off the cuff came up with it's something that I've been doing for a while now and it seems to have really benefited me and that's why I want to pass it on to you okay and that's why I am inviting you to join me this coming Friday on the 26th of May 2023 for this chocolate ritual or cacao ceremony whichever you prefer to call it The thing is, is that we all have things that really can knock us off of our path, so to speak. Things that can knock us off our broomsticks. <laughs> um, and this can happen to everybody. And if it doesn't happen to somebody, in this world, at least once in their life, then something is not right. They're not living right, okay? Because everybody goes through the dark night of the soul. Basically, that's what I'm calling it, is the dark night of the soul, what I have been going through. And it doesn't just happen once in a person's life. It happens quite a few times. Okay, because we really have to learn the lesson. That's what it's all about. And it helps you to stretch your abilities to, to learn, to grow, to heal. Okay, that's what the dark night of the soul is all about. Helping you to become a better person so that you can live the life that you are supposed to live and so that you can help others to do better so that you can help yourself to do better now a lot of times we adults <laughs> we adults <laughs> we go through trauma and we don't know what to do to fix it and if we just let it go, or I should say, excuse me, let me, let me rephrase that. If we let this trauma continue on, 
within our bodies, within our minds, within our spirits, within our souls, then we are not doing what we were put on this earth to do, okay? We have got to get rid of the trauma in order to live a life that we deserve. And if you don't get rid of the trauma, you will not live a life that you deserve in a positive way. You will live a life that you deserve, perhaps in a negative way or in a way of lack. You see what I'm saying? You'll always be chasing after someone or something. If you do not get rid of this trauma in your life, in your body, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit. And I'm going to show you a few ways this coming Friday to help you to get rid of this trauma because, oh, you okay, pumpkin? It's okay. Pumpkin, she's over there coughing. She wants us to know that she's here. Thank you, pumpkin. <laughs> um, yeah, this Friday, um, the 26th of May, I want to show you some ways that I have been using to help me to get through the trauma that I have experienced in the last <laughs> few years, so to speak. Okay, I finally decided to do something about it because I went on depression tablets six years long, you guys. And I'm proud to say I don't need them anymore. I'm not using them anymore. Okay. A lot of things have changed about my body, like my size, for example. I gained a lot of weight, and I mean a lot of weight from these depression tablets, from overeating, from overeating to try to compensate for that which I was lacking. Okay, I did not try to get rid of that trauma because I was too busy trying to, to um, deal with the trauma, okay? Because it was a big shock. I was in shock after I had given up my life, lived with this man in Germany for 16 years, and then, all of a sudden, he tells me that he has a younger woman and he wants a divorce from me. <laughs> and I'm standing here, right? Yeah, but that's a story for another time. I'm just giving you a little bit of the reason why I ended up going on these depression tablets. And now, after... After all the work that I have been doing for myself, I'm off of those tablets. It's been almost a month now. I'm still having withdrawal symptoms and that's normal from what I heard. Um, but they are, the effects of the withdrawals are starting to dim quite a bit because of all that I have been doing, I believe, to help myself to get off of those pills, to help myself, to clear my mind, and to get rid of this trauma that I allowed someone else to make me allow for myself, this trauma. I've got to get rid of the trauma because nobody can make you feel bad except for you yourself and I had to do some serious soul searching and that's what I did and that's what I'm still doing I'm not a hundred percent yet but you know I am to the point where I am ready <laughs> to start getting up off of that ground that I was knocked down so hard so rudely upon 
and I'm ready to start kicking ass and taking names. This is where I am at this point. This is the strongest I have ever been since I've lived here in Germany. And I want to share that with you. I want to share part of my journey with you because I have a feeling that there are a lot of other women out there. People in general, yes, men and women, but I'm speaking more specifically towards the female gender. There are a lot of us out there that are in the middle or the beginning of this thing called trauma because of something someone has done to them. And because I know how to get rid of it, that's why I'm here. That's part of my job on this earth, is to help other people to, to destroy the trauma within, to break the blockages that are holding you back, okay? that were holding me back. But now it's like, I know what happened to me and I know what I need to be doing in order to continue to get the rest of this trauma out of me so that I can start really pushing forward in a way that I know I'm supposed to do, which will make my own self proud and help many others. So, you guys, if you are someone who has experienced trauma, are living in trauma, and you want to release that trauma to get rid of it, to do better, to help yourself, then join me, like I said, on the 26th, this coming Friday. The day of love. The day of love for your partner, love for the world, any kind of love in the world, but love for yourself, most especially, is what I'm dealing with this coming Friday. I hope you guys are going to be there because <laughs> it's going to be powerful. It really is as powerful as I can make it for myself and for you. Because like I said, I've done quite a few of these cacao ceremonies and they really work. They really, really work. So be there and I will help you. If you can just open your mind and if you can want to get rid of the trauma, if you want to change yourself, if you want to do better, be there this coming Friday. Okay? Watch my video on the cacao ceremony or the chocolate ritual, whichever you prefer to call it. So those of you who are watching this video, I thank you for taking the time to do it. It's something good for me, but it is also something good for you. Because here at this channel, Witchcraft and More, because it's not just about witchcraft, okay? It's about a whole plethora of things. That's why I chose the name Witchcraft and More, because there are a lot of things that I would like to touch upon and maybe delve even deeper on my Patreon channel that I'm starting. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I'm just letting you know now in advance, I am starting a Patreon channel and we are going to be doing a lot of things to help you, okay? So just be on the lookout for that. Um, like I said, this coming Friday, this is going to be all for you, all right? It's going to be for us. You guys, thank you so much for having subscribed to this channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And also, thank you truly for the donations that you all have been sending in to this channel. Thank you so much. It really helps me to be able to purchase new things <laughs> 
in order to keep the videos interesting with regard to the visual aspect. Um, I wanted to say one more thing. What was it? Brain fog? Let's see. Um, 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 um. Yes. If you need healing, you guys, if you would like for me to send you long distance healing, please just let me know. Okay. Okay. So that's all I've got for you at this time. Um, like I said, this coming Friday, you guys, the 26th, I'm excited about this ritual because this will be the first one, uh, this, this, uh, cacao ceremony, this chocolate ritual. This will be the first one that I have recorded. Okay. And that I'm actually sharing with someone other than my little pumpkin poodle. <laughs> So you guys take care of yourself, stay safe, stay curious, and I send you mighty magical blessings, mighty magical blessings, mighty magical blessings to you. And we will see you, hopefully, this coming Friday. We'll see you. Bye.